so I'll definitely let you guys know how that goes. <sighs> I'm kind of interested to see how it's going to be working with um, like a, a large group of special needs kids, but I'm up for the challenge, if it even is a challenge. Um, I have worked with some special needs kids before, but never like the majority of the school because it's she said it's literally 50 percent um special needs kids so i've never worked with that many special needs kids before at one time but i'm excited to see how they run their school and for the interview <laughs> i'll let you guys know how it goes though 10 seconds later well i guess you'd say back to the drawing board they said on the thing that they had multiple like positions open. They only had one full-time one that I guess I'm not qualified for, which I'm guessing it was like a first or second grade teacher um, position. And then everything else was like part-time, but not really. It was like substitute. So if any of the teachers called out sick or um, like after school kind of but it was only like four hours a day so like I don't know how worth it that would be honestly in the what's it called uh the pay wasn't like the best so like four hours a day would literally just be a waste of time so um back to the drawing board I'll have to apply some more stuff and call and see if I can get in somewhere this is so annoying honestly but i'm back home and yeah that's how that went later hey guys so it's been a while i have the dogs out philly literally has been so annoying and she just just stands there go philly go to the bathroom and she'll kick her feet and she'll kick all this dirt like if you see some of her marks are in there she just flicks it all over the place it drives me nuts but i'm actually getting a phone call later from i guess you'd say my stepmom and she's going to kind of help us decide on some things for the wedding um we have a majority of everything you know picked out obviously you just you need to put like your deposits down and stuff it's like just the main thing is obviously we need to go see the venues we have two that we really like and um we need to pick a videographer and photographer that's going to be the hardest thing because i'm very picky and jay's very picky when it comes to the videos and i've looked at some that they've made and i'm just i'm not impressed with it like i don't know <sighs> That's, that's what I've been mainly stressed about is that. And the actual date. I have no idea. Hi, Emma. No idea what date I want to do. Like, it's, it's just honestly, we're waiting for the girl. We're waiting for the army thing. And, or not the army. Well, yes, the army thing to come back about the change of... Um, <laughs> what's it called like how he got out or whatever so we're waiting for that and like it's like i don't want to get married too soon and not hear back from them and then i don't want to get married like too late and like we would have we would just be waiting and we would have already heard back you know but like it's like once you have the date you have the date all right guys i know i look crazy ow which is in my toe but i've been having a twitchy eye for the last like three days and it's been driving me nuts so i read you can put like a warm compress on it so i'm doing that hopefully it works but let me know down below if you've ever had this issue like it's so annoying and it's so cold i have the blanket on me crazy yeah i know whatever um but it's literally so annoying and i don't know if this is gonna work I don't know how often I'm supposed to do it but I got like really really hot water 
I gotta let it cool off a little bit before I put it on, but I don't know what else to do. It's driving me nuts. It's so annoying. And I've been squinting for the last, like, two days. When I was driving, I was like this. <laughs> it was bothering me so much. <laughs> and I don't know what to do. I, I feel like I look ridiculous. But I don't know what else to do. <laughs> so, I'm just going to try this. I'll let you guys know um, if it works. I know it's because I've been tired and I haven't been sleeping properly. Um, but what can you do? I've been taking like the melatonin thing because like it's all natural and whatever, whatever. But it makes me groggy and it's only like five milligrams or something like that. And it makes me so groggy, but like it helps me sleep. But then I wake up and I'm like super tired, like I need to go to sleep again. So... I don't know, but then if I don't take it, then I stay up until like 1, 2, 3 o'clock in the morning, and I can't do that either, so I, <laughs> I don't know what to do. But I ate my salad, Ugh. Ugh. and Jay should be home soon. I don't know where the heck he is. It's almost 5, like he should be home by now, unless he actually left at 4.30 today. Usually he'll leave at 4. So I don't know where he is. I guess we'll wait and see. All right, Jay got home, he's taking a shower, but I'm trying to spray Philly with this thing. Oh, and by the way, my eye's still twitching. <laughs> um, I'm trying to spray Philly because I haven't given her a bath yet. I'll probably give her one tomorrow, but she smells like outside and she's like all over the bed with this. And she gets so crazy. Let me see if I can catch it because it's so funny. Can I have that? Can I have that, please? Come here. Come here. Bring it here. Come here. Come here. Oh my goodness. Can I have it? Hey guys, I've been home for a little while. We got some great help today. So this morning, was it? Yeah, it was pretty early this morning. Naisha's stepmom, her dad's wife, texted both of us and was like, oh, I saw your vlog from yesterday about us stressing about wedding planning and stuff. She's like an event planner. So she messaged both of us and was just like, hey, like if you want, you know, I can call you guys later on and give you some tips and pointers and try to help you guys out. So that was like unexpected and it was such great help. So she called after I got home from work and like helped us out with like a bunch of stuff. And like, you did? Yeah, we did. Oh, nice. But um, she helped us out so much. Like I feel a lot less stressed and especially now because... We figured out our date. We don't want to say the date yet. Um, until we get the venue. Until we get the venue still. But now we know when. Because that was the other big thing. Like we didn't know exactly when we wanted to do it. And so like bouncing between two months was like. And like the two months weren't next to each other. Like they were like four or five months apart. So it's like such a big time span to possibly do it. So I'm just so happy that's done. And then on top of that, after we talked to her, she gave us a lot of pointers. A lot of pointers, and to then save we money and yeah stuff. to save a lot of money. And then on top of that, um, like we went from like having like no like really nobody coming to the wedding to like 25 to 50, and then 115. Now we're back down to like 60, 
65. Yeah, it's like 65. So I'm I'm very happy with that because as the numbers started growing, I was just like seeing ching ching ching. Yes. Like, I didn't realize that, like, regardless of if you do a pay-by-play -play or you do a buffet, like, you, you are playing pay-by-plate. Yeah. Pay you are paying for every person. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. That. That's what I'm trying to say. So, I didn't really realize that. So, she, like, opened her eyes to a lot of different things. And, like, even, like, helping us with, like, our colors and stuff. Like, she gave a suggestion that I hadn't even thought about. And then when she said it and I looked at it, I was like... It's, that actually nice, looks really nice, but, but it, it, I don't know. It'll, it'll be too many colors from what colors we wanted to do. Yeah, the the base colors that we wanted. Yes, it so. would have just been too much. So we're going to pick from one of those. Yeah, and then I think I know which one I want. Yeah, I think I know which one I want. Wait, let me see. Yeah, yeah. No, that's what I wanted to do, yeah. So uh, I just, oh, I just feel so relieved. And then I felt so happy we were playing Fortnite. Well, I played two rounds by myself. And yeah, Nisha and you didn't want to play with me. Because Nisha becomes like a little obnoxious sometimes. So I just, I just didn't want to play because she's being obnoxious. This is what I'm talking about. Um, if I go deaf. And... Literally, she knows every time that the camera turns on. Every time. I can never get a shot of her sleeping. She won't let me catch her off guard. Right, Philly? You won't let me catch you off guard? You look so cute, though. And comfy. Are you comfy? Hmm? You comfy? Uh, like, I don't know how you sleep like that. Your legs and your arms are all by your face. And you know your feet stink, right? They smell like hot Cheetos. Yours. That is very rude because it's not true. It's not true at all. It is true. That's why you look like a freaking minion right now. Your hair is all over the place. It's puffy. Love you. Back to the cuteness. Aww. You were sleeping, right? And then I turned on the camera and you woke right up. Every single time. Okay. Love you. Get some sleep, okay? I'll see you in the morning. You want me to see you in the morning? You gonna see me off to work? She's like, just leave me alone. You're so annoying. You're annoying. Oh my <sighs> gosh. I played I don't know how many rounds. And I swear my game was glitching so bad. Like, dumb stuff was happening. I wanted to throw the controller at the TV. Like, it was, if you know Fortnite, you know the lag is real sometimes. Mm -hmm. But I got some frustrations out, and then it made new frustrations. Put so. your mitt. <laughs> Nisha has the sillies, and she needs to go to bed. Put your midriff away. <laughs> yeah, it's because you kept freaking having her shirt like this. Like, put your midriff away. Nobody needs to see that. That's my belly button. Nobody can see that. It's just mine. Just... I'll blur it. You Don't worry. Showed them. I, I will blur oh it. Oh my god, that was so funny. But anyway, it's time to go to bed because somebody has work tomorrow. So we need to. Was that an eye roll? <laughs> that was an eye roll. Nope. Got you. Wait till, wait till we turn this camera off. I got you. I got you. All right. Ow. <laughs> Thanks for being a part of our day. <laughs> Good night from NJ and Philly. We'll see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Bye, Bye, guys. guys. <laughs> get out of my face. <laughs> Told you I was going to get you. <laughs> Told you I was going to get you. <laughs> get away from me. Love you. <laughs> no, stop it. <laughs> You're
you're literally not even funny. You're not funny. Give me a kiss. No. Come here. Okay. Love you. <laughs> Love you too. <laughs> Alright. Wow, you know you left the camera on? Oh. Bonus footage.